Hey guys, and welcome back uh, to the Shines 15 channel. So, uh, if you're one of my uh, Skidoo uh, subscribers and you have a 1200, that's a higher mileage 1200, you're probably going to want to set the valves at some point. Skidoo recommends this at I think uh, 12,500 miles or 20,000 K. I'm just over that, and honestly, I, I mean, I'm a marine mechanic for a living, and I've done 500 hour checks on boats and uh, that are cam and bucket style uh, lifters and I've never actually had to even shim one of these before because they're always within specs they're really uh, they're really good they're a pain in the ass if you have to change them but because uh, the old ones you could use the old uh, screwdriver and lock nut and set them on the old lifters but uh, that's not the case here so Anyways, uh, I thought I would do a video on it. So I had to rip my motor out to replace the stator. Uh, it's it burnt up, and I got to get a new one. So I'm just waiting to foam for parts here in about an hour. But uh, yeah, for now, take off your valve cover. You can do this in the sled, I heard, but I thought why not do it while it's outside of the sled? It's a lot easier. So uh, take off your valve cover. Uh, it's eight bolts, they're eight millimeter, or I believe they're T27 Torx in the middle. Use eight millimeter if you can, a little bit stronger. Uh, and you got one tube here going over to your dipstick that you gotta unscrew. Uh, mine had a hose clamp on it because it had been undone previously. Uh, so uh, take that off and uh, you have your crankcase breather on the other side. You have to pull that off, pull out your three pencil coils and uh, I usually mark them one, two, three, and just mark it on the valve cover. I like to put them back in the same place. I don't know if it matters, but I like to. Anyways, uh, good time to inspect your valve cover uh, gasket. Mine's good, so that's good. And inspect these O-ring gaskets. Sometimes these uh, can crack and you'll get oil in at your spark plugs, I've heard. So uh, I'm not gonna, everything checked out here good, so that goes aside and you're left with your uh, motor so we'll start out doing our I'm gonna since the motor I'm just kind of working with a tight space got my ATV in here the sled car wasn't planning on having the sled in here uh, so we're just gonna start out by doing all of our intakes and show you guys uh, how to do them and what the specs are All right, so those are our specs for them. I'll let you guys just look at them here, and uh, you can see that. All right, guys, so uh, when you get to your motor, you can flip each, I got the spark plugs loosened, so there's no compression, they're still sitting in there, just in case anything would mysteriously fall into there. But uh, you gotta, you can put it to top dead center, and uh, then you can do each cylinder at a time, but I like to just get out two uh, feeler gauges for the intake and for the and then I'll get the other two out for the exhaust because I'm just gonna do a rough check I'm just gonna do a bottom measurement and a top measurement and uh, if the bottom one fits in nicely and snugly or it's kind of loose and the top one doesn't then we know we're between there it's just kind of a quick measurement here because I'm thinking they're within spec anyways uh, we're gonna start and just work our way across here. So just uh, rotate your motor over until these uh, cam lobes are opposite of of your uh, valve spring. Like so, these are kind of on an angle, these valve springs. So just make sure your lobes are up here. So we'll start out with our four, or, or our 1.0 millimeter or a 0.10 millimeter, I should say. Anyways, uh, let me get that in there. That fits really nice, it's right on, right on there actually, it's just, got to find it here. It just slides nicely, so that's right at the top of the spec there. Just what we want and then uh, our other side here same thing a little bit looser and then you can try your big one which it's not going to go in if those are snug 
Anyways, repeat those steps from one side to the other. Uh, since I'm just tight area, that's why I'm doing it this way, guys. Uh, so, you check, so on, roll over the motor here. These lobes are opposite now. We'll start out with the four. A little bit looser there. A little looser there. But there's no way that the eight thousands is going in there. So, uh, I know it's probably about six in there. So, you're right in between spec. And then, uh, check again here. Get those there. Just about the same. A little loose there. Again, no way that the eight's going in there. So, all those are within spec. And I'm not worrying about shimming any of them. They're all probably about six thousandths of an inch right in the middle. That's perfect. Next, we'll uh, do the exhaust. All right, so our exhaust is uh, 0.30 to 0 0.40 or, or 12 to 16 thousandths of an inch. So uh, since these cam lobes are good in the middle, we're just going to start with that one. So we'll start with the, the thinner one first, our 3.0. That fits nicely, a little loose. A little loose again, but again, there's no way the .40 is going in, so it's right in the middle of there. So that's done. Got two more cylinders to go here, guys, and we're done. So uh, let us rotate whatever one comes up first. There we go. Right here, good can in it. Three zeros loose, but again. No way that four zeros going in there, so uh, it's right in between spec. And then on our end one here, we'll rotate it around. There we are. Start out with the three zero, goes in actually a little bit looser on that one, and that one, four zero, no way that's going in. So we're not going to have to shim, shim this motor. The one that was about the tightest was this one over here, right beside the cam gear. Uh, but otherwise, uh, they were all within spec though, so that's how you how you test them. All right, guys, thanks for watching. That's just a quick valve adjustment video for these 1200s. Uh, as you can see, I just used the top and bottom spec for for each uh, feeler gauge, and I could tell that the bottom one was a little bit loose and the top one definitely wouldn't go in so you know you're within spec. Uh, I was hoping not to shim any of them and I don't have to. I had one that was close to the four thousandths of an inch spec but that's that's all. Uh, still within spec though so I'm not touching any of that but uh, if you do have to uh, touch it look up another YouTube t tutorial on how to do the cam and bucket. Uh, basically you just have shims that you got to measure and deduct anyways you you'll figure that out but this is how to how to check them and uh, what the measurements are because I found it hard to find measurements but uh, I finally got around to buying a skiddy shop manual and that shows everything in it so uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, like I said in the video I could have been more precise on my measurements to see exactly what they were but I just want to make sure they were within spec because I'm not adding or taking out anything, so that's uh, I didn't need to be too precise on my measurements because I was just just checking. So uh, if you have a 1200 and you have any other uh, questions on how to remove the motor, on how to do maintenance on pretty much everything, I do. I have a lot of videos on YouTube, so uh, check them all out. I hope you enjoyed it, and please give my channel a like and a subscribe if you want to see more uh, Skidoo 1200 tutorials. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and please give the channel a like and a subscribe. If my videos interest you, please click on my channel and check out my other videos.